I'm going to be a princess and a mommy when I grow up. I want to be a doctor. A teacher. Because um, we get a weird, I get to read kids' t um, books and um, I get to help them do letters and numbers. When I grow up, I want to be a, um, a builder and an um, engineer. I want to I wanna be, when I grow up, a basketball player and a, and a, um, a cartoonist. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor and a veterinary. I want dogs to have a better life. I want to be, I want to go work to be a farmer. A Policeman too. Go. Mm, a fireman? I don't want to give The essential new reality of our time is that the blue collar path to economic security has disappeared. Gone forever is the chance for a young man or woman to graduate from American high school, much less drop out of an American high school, and, and go into, put me to work America, with strong right arm, willingness to work hard, and expect to be able to make a middle class wage. What you earn depends on what you have learned. Education has become the critical determinant of a person's ability to earn enough money to support a family. The fact that so much is learned in the first years, in the preschool years, says, tells us, dictates to us, that the energy needs to be put in in, the, in those first years. These are the critical years for brain development, and these are the critical years when really the children get their first glimpse of what education is outside of the home. We have to get them ready for, you know, kindergarten and stuff, and if we don't start at an early age, we're kind of fighting a losing battle. Particularly for children from um, households that have limited resources, they need real experiences. Young children are active learners. Children who don't have that experience, when they enter kindergarten, you can see that they, they're going to fall a lot behind because they haven't had those experiences. If you start kindergarten way behind and unable to learn and not having had a vocabulary, that, that other kids have had. Their likelihood of being able to close that gap by what happens even with the best teachers is, is lessened. We know that when children have an opportunity to be in a rich learning environment, they have an opportunity to get a real head start in being prepared for kindergarten and being ready to soar. They need to know what they can do, not what they can't do, you know. So you get them started at what you can do now. And it, 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 remember, they'll remember that in their head. Putting people down, that affects people. You don't know what that does on a person's mind. And when you live with that within you, that's what you think in your mind as you grow up. And here I am of age now, and I still think that. We started a homeschool with eight children and our desire was to bring quality care to our neighborhood. When you first start, you think of just it being the best place to be, the best place where a child can come and be loved and, and learn. I just wanted to, to be a high quality sitter. I always wanted quality care. I did. I mean, when we went into it, that's what we went into it for. Many of the, the child care programs in our community are limited by the resources that they have. It was very difficult working with the children because we didn't have a lot of things we have now. It was like, okay, where are crayons, where are the blocks, you know, tricycles and everything like that. When equipment break, I had a challenges trying to replace it. I didn't, I didn't feel like working with kids was for me. It was just a job to me. Honestly, it was a job. I was going there, do my hours, do what was supposed to be done, and I was leaving. Being a new parent, sometimes it can be a little stressful. And you know, sometimes you don't know what to do. I was at the point where I was ready to give my grandbaby back to her mom because I didn't know how to 
take the stress. I couldn't see the end of the, the tunnel, you know, where things could be better. The ability to be able to work with the people that are most influential in the lives of young children before they ever get to kindergarten is what we know can have a tremendous difference uh, when they get to high school. My state representative actually introduced us to Collaborative for Children. We was in need when they came. All of a sudden, you know, we get a phone call from Collaborative and it's like, whoa. This program uh, provides so much for the children and it provides so much for us adults, for us teachers. They say, well, some people want to talk to you about going to college. So I said, well, okay, well, what is it about? She said, we're getting a CDA. And they provided uh, scholarships for me to go, money for me to go to school. So I was able to earn my associate's degree in early childhood. I took a CDA class, which Collaborative funded and I got my CDA. The first time I took it, I passed it. At 50, I got my bachelor's. Being with Collaborative means that I have this opportunity to do what I wanted to do. And that's when I just saw our center just blossom. And you know, the, the training that they gave us, the networking, the support, they're the reason why we're accredited. We knew that we was going to do this for the children and it's going to make us all better, and it did. Just walk the hall and look in the classrooms and you can see all the big difference. The attitude of my teachers have changed. I have changed. They deserve the teachers being more educated for them. They deserve the new stuff in the classroom. They deserve me being the best that I can be. When Collaborative First came in, I started off as a teacher and now I'm a director assistant. It's been just a joy to see those directors develop and blossom. Children are capable of so much and when given the opportunity to learn, when given the opportunity to excel, when people believe in them, we know that children have the capacity to do well and to excel and to succeed. I want to see them go to college, make something out of themselves, and be the best mom, best grandma they can be. <laughs> 20 years. I want to see them either be somebody, doing something with their life, lawyer, doctor, if not that, a teacher. I want them all to come back and say, Miss Lacey, you was you was the first step to going to school, and now we're all in college. I want them all to go to college. And these children won't forget it, just like I didn't. That's why I'm in education today. And I do believe in, in the next year or so that my grandbaby is going to really be all right. And they're going to go back into their community, and they're going to change the lives of the people in their community because of what happened to them as children. When you know what's possible and you give children the resources and the tools that they need to get there, and that is not only the educational system, but a supportive family and a supportive community system, we know the sky's the limit. We can do this. We are the wealthiest country in the world. This is our future. It's, all, it's, a, it's a cliche to say the future is our children, but and education matters, but today there's a truth to it that is greater than it has ever been in human history. It has been a great experience. I feel wonderful because I feel like that I can make a difference in that child's life. I've had people say, oh, you got an associate in early childhood? That's like babysitting. Uh, I'm a professional. I'm here to teach the children. I'm a teacher. I love collaborative. I love them. They supported me all the way. I really don't think that I would have this, this passion, and I don't think I would even be at this professional level if it wasn't for collaborative. We feel great knowing that I can turn to someone when I have a problem. It's a great thing. It's a great program. This just make you so full to know that you got it, and you're able to give it to those babies, everything that they supposed to have. I couldn't have been able to do it without collaborative. I know I wouldn't have ever been able to get what I needed like I have now. And it is such a blessing, such a blessing. When you can provide everything for those children and everything that they're supposed to have.